Introducing the 1112 Explorer. This instrument is an assessment instrument to detect supra and subgingival calculus. I will be demonstrating on teeth numbers 31, 30, and 29, which is on the lower right quadrant. For right-handed clinicians, you will be sitting at 8 to 9 o'clock. In left-handed clinicians, you will be sitting at 2 to 3 o'clock. I have the patient positioned with their head down because I am working on the mandibular arch and his head is slightly turned away. Make sure you have good ergonomics, you have a modified pen grasp and an intraoral fulcrum where you will be fulcruming on an occlusal or incisal edge one up to four teeth away. First, I will show you how to find the correct working end. If I hold the explorer to the distal of the tooth I'm going to explore, you can see that the terminal shank goes up and over the tooth. You can also see this bend or an elbow or this point is pointing towards that distal. If I flip it, now that terminal shank is going across the tooth and this bend or this V or the elbow is pointing towards the mesial. That is not correct. Flipping it back to the correct working end, what we call it is V to the D. I'm going to start at the distal buccal line angle. I am adapting only one to two millimeters of that working end. I'm going to insert subgingively to the base of the pocket. I'm going to use overlapping vertical strokes with a very light feather-like grasp working my way into that very distal interproximal now i'm using vertical strokes going 51 percent which is halfway into that distal i'm going to come out of that pocus or sulcus now i'm readapting the tip third which is one to two millimeters at that distal buccal line angle inserting my explorer subgingively, adapting only one to two millimeters of that working end. I'm coming across that buccal surface. I'm really overlapping my strokes. I'm using an oblique stroke, which is diagonal, really overlapping my strokes. I'm using a wrist activation, maintaining my modified pen grasp and good ergonomics. I'm using my tactile sensitivity to feel the vibrations to detect any calculus overlapping across the buckle. As I come into that mesial line angle, I'm going to start to roll the instrument handle between my index and thumb, staying adapted as I roll. You can slightly come up on your fulcrum here. Make sure to stay adapted. As I roll into this mesial, line angle. I'm using vertical strokes now. Really overlap your strokes. Feather-like grasp. Working my way 51%, which is a little bit more than halfway into that mesial interproximal. Once I finish tooth number 31, I'm going to now explore tooth number 30. Okay, maintain your modified pin grasp, intraoral fulcrum, good ergonomics, I'm adapting to that distal buccal line angle. I'm going to use overlapping vertical strokes, working my way into that distal interproximal, going 51%, which is more than halfway into that distal. Come out completely, quarter turn. Make sure you have good modified pen grasp. Your index and thumb should be opposite each other inserting back at that distal buccal line angle. Now my tip is coming towards that mesial. Okay, so I'm using a very light grasp, oblique stroke across, which is a diagonal motion. I'm wrist activating, maintaining my modified pen grasp and good ergonomics. I'm coming up on my fulcrum as I roll here into the mesial interproximal. Roll the handle between your index and thumb. Stay adapted with that one to two millimeters of that working end. Roll, roll. Now, vertical strokes. Vertical strokes really overlap. 
Feel the calculus, use your tactile sensitivity. Now I'm going 51%, more than halfway into that mesial. Okay, I will now demonstrate on tooth number 29. I'm still using that same working end. Adapt right at that distal buccal line angle, go subgingively, overlap, vertical strokes, working my way 51% into that distal and proximal, come out completely, quarter turn, so now I'm coming into, going into that mesial, adapt right at that distal buccal line angle, coming across with an oblique stroke, overlapping my strokes, I'm wrist activating using a very light feather-like activation, rolling in, come up on my fulcrum, maintaining my modified pen grasp. Now I'm going to use vertical strokes as I work my way into the mesial interproximal, 51%. Come out completely. Now I will go back and do a horizontal stroke right at that distal buckle line angle. So I'm going to insert my explorer subgingively, and I'm going to only do two or three strokes at the distal buckle line angle. Tooth number 31, again, horizontal stroke right at the CEJ. And the reason why I'm doing this is because the distal line angles are very commonly missed area for calculus. So you just wanna go back, double check those distal line angles with a horizontal stroke about two, three, four strokes. And that's it.